the genuine article. Discussion and commentary based on articles from Jack. Hello, I'm Tony DeMaria, the editor of Jack, here with Inside Jack, and I'm talking at the moment to Dr. Marco Merlo, and Dr. Merlo is a cardiologist at the University of Trieste, and he's published a, a very interesting paper in Jack that deals with the possibility of re- reverse remodeling in patients with idiopathic dilated cardiomyopathy. Uh, Tell us a little bit about your study, Dr. Merlo. Uh, We evaluated a large cohort of idiopathic dilated cardiomyopathy patients from uh, 1988 to uh, 1997 and with a long-term follow-up at least uh, 10 years and we uh, evaluated them at baseline and after two years and we uh, defined the uh, left ventricular reverse remodeling as the increase of uh, uh, left ventricular ejection fraction of uh, 10 point percent or its normalization and uh, a reduction of left ventricular and diastolic diameter uh, of 10 percent or uh, its uh, normalization. And uh, we found that uh, about one third of our patients uh, showed left ventricular reverse remodeling after two years, and this patient, with respect to the other, uh, had showed uh, uh, um, uh, lower cardiovascular events in the long term, uh, not only but uh, left ventricular reverse remodeling uh, when added to um, baseline model, baseline prognostic model, uh, showed uh, uh, incremental addictive prognostic power for predict uh, death and, cardi- and uh, heart transplantation and also for uh, secondary endpoint uh, uh, pump failure death, uh, um, heart transplantation and also for sudden death. Well, it, it, it's, it's pretty impressive. Uh, almost a third of the patients showing um, reverse remodeling uh, uh, what do you attribute this to? Were these patients who were acutely ill, some of whom uh, rapidly recover, or were these chronically ill patients? Uh, they showed the reverse remodeling in two years of uh, follow-up. Uh, the restoration of symptoms is, uh, uh, we, we can see the restoration of symptoms uh, uh, in within in six months but uh, uh, the clinical laboratory improvement uh, of left ventricular ejection fraction and uh, and diastolic diameter uh, is probably due to uh, ACE inhibitors and beta blockers on uh, tailored uh, dosage um, and uh, and uh, uh, and then these patients uh, with uh, probably a, a severe disease uh, at enrollment, but with uh, reversible uh, cardiac damage, can uh, uh, tolerate uh, high dosage of uh, ACE inhibitors and beta blockers. Okay, so I guess the $64 question quickly is, uh, what happens to these patients over the long term that have reverse remodeling? Do they stay reverse remodeled or do they ultimately succumb to progressive disease? They stayed on reverse remodeling for seven, eight years, and then they uh, have a trend to heart failure and to uh, decrease of left ventricular ejection fraction. Well, these are very interesting data. I think um, most of us have this idea that a patient with uh, severe idiopathic dilated cardiomyopathy is not likely to improve very much, but what you've shown us is that uh, a significant minority of them can have some substantial reverse remodeling and, and, and they do much better. And of course, if they remodel, uh, they may no longer fulfill the criteria for ICD. So very interesting information, uh, even if in the long term, ultimately, the patients do develop heart failure. Thanks very much for being with us. For Inside Jack, I'm Tony DeMaria.